Hey guys, NeroTM here, back again with yet another arts video and today it's gonna be one more 20 art style challenge and this time I'm going to do Brandon Yuri since he was mentioned in almost every comment of my last 20 art style challenge video. But before that, I want to talk with you about this awesome app called Arts and Osis Amino. And yes, this video is sponsored, but I still truly do love this app for a lot of reasons. So this app is something I wish I had when I was still in school. Then I had this big passion for drawing, creating Osis, and also a desire to get feedback on my work, which I didn't get back in the days. Since this app is exclusively for artists, it's so many times easier to get recognized and build up followers than let's say on YouTube or Facebook. I love that this app has public chat rooms which I'm totally gonna use to chat with you guys. Also you can create polls there and the thing that I love the most is the leveling up system which I always get addicted to. And besides all of my favorites, this app has a bunch of other features like quizzes, shared folders, also you can get featured and many more. Ok now back to the actual video. Here on screen you can see Brandon Yuri in my style and before I get into other styles I do want to mention that this challenge was like a double challenge for me since I almost never draw guys and when I do I totally fail to do that and that is the reason why I avoid drawing them. So if this will turn out bad in your opinion please don't judge me, I really tried. <laughs> so second style is of course adventure time since as I said a lot of you like it and it's popular. And capturing Brandon Yuri was quite difficult in some of these styles since they are pretty cute, minimalistic, and Brandon Yuri is pretty damn manly and handsome, and some of these styles just didn't let me do that, so just warning you that some of these might not be so pretty because the styles aren't that pretty. I mean, they aren't as beautiful as Brandon Yuri, of course. Since the style is pretty simple and minimalistic, I decided to add extra feature like him holding a microphone, to make this picture a little more interesting. The features that I tried to capture the most were of course the hair, the bushy eyebrows, the face shape which is pretty manly, also tall forehead and small bags under his eyes which I indicated with lines. So these are the features. Things that I didn't use was his one day beard because in a lot of styles it just doesn't work and in which ones it did I added it. Next one is Tim Burton and this one was tricky since Brandon Yuri has very white manly face and his chin is not pointy at all and in Tim Burton style characters tend to have very thin and small chins and their faces are very pointy. I didn't want to do that because that would have made Brandon Yuri not look like Brandon Yuri at all. Also you can probably notice that I do not use a lot of references like I did in my last videos on the screen because, well, my computer do not accept my internet for some reason, so I don't have internet on my computer on which I draw. So I have to look up references on phone and it was pretty damn hard and for some pictures I actually uh, transferred uh, pictures from my phone to computer uh, with USB. But in the end of the day I thought it's a benefit so that you guys will not think that I trace that I just use references and I do not like lower the opacity and try to copy things so that's a benefit for sure. I do get a lot of hate on these videos since they are quite popular on my channel and a lot of people are not happy about the way I use references or about the way I shade or draw or the way the style turns out. They say it looks nothing like the show or nothing like the person and I do get it but Sometimes some comments are just so stupid because, for example, one comment said that person dislikes this video since I do not shade all the pictures, that it looks lazy and I'm lazy because I don't do that. And I just said to that person that, well, a lot of styles don't even have shading in the original show, so why should I put shading if I'm trying to do the style challenge? So that's like no logic at all. And I don't know, some of the comments are like really stupid like that and I get triggered very easily and very fast and I know it sounds weird because if you watch my videos I might sound like a nice person and I get a lot of comments like that saying that my personality is very nice and stuff but to be honest I'm not that nice at all and if I get hate comments it's really tempting for me to actually say bad things to that person especially if that hate comment is stupid and it's not like 
constructive criticism. So that's my personality. I'm trying to work on it and I hope you guys won't mind it. So if you see me guys like fighting with someone in comment section, just ignore that fact please because at that time I was like very very triggered. <laughs> so yeah, that's just some true facts about me. So I was talking so much about random stuff that I just now realized that I already missed Pokemon style. So, good thing is that I don't really have much to say about it, besides the fact that I'm not really sure which Pokemon is that. I mean, I used Google and it said it's like from Dark Generation or something like that, and it looks like Rattata, so I guess it's like Dark Rattata or something like that. I don't know, comment down below which Pokemon is this and does it even exist, because... Well, I saw this Pokemon and thought it will suit Brandon Yuri very well, so I just added it here. So yeah, let me know please down below. And the style I'm currently at is Ed, Ed and Eddie and well, as always, I just enjoy doing this. It's very loose, crazy and I'm pretty sure that person who commented about my laziness was talking about this style because you really need to be lazy to actually draw like this. So yeah, that's my thought about the style. For Steven Universe, I used as a reference character called Kevin and I'm really not sure where did the sketching footage go, but once I started editing the video, I couldn't find it and I guess I just didn't press the film button, so that's pretty sad since I promised you guys that I will for sure do the sketching part so that you would know that I do not cheat. So I'm really sorry about that. Still, it was kind of cringy for me when in the first video I got comments that I skip a sketching part a lot and they don't believe me that I don't cheat and once I said in the last video that I will give a sketching part and like cut off most of the coloring parts since it's not that interesting I started to get comments that there are people who actually do love the coloring part the most so I was like damn I can't make these videos like one hour long because nobody will watch it for sure also I can't talk for one hour because making 20 minutes voiceover is already like hell for me it's kind of funny and I don't know what to do because speeding up more won't work as well since it's already like uncomfortable to watch so I don't know what to do. So we are already halfway through the Gravity Falls style and this is one of the styles where I had to make Brandon Yuri not so Brandon Yuri and make him look more like a country boy, you know, like a cowboy or something like that because that show really has that kind of vibe to it. Next is Disney and for reference I used some kind of prints from some kind of movie I'm still not sure which one it is, because I never saw it to be honest. And this style just makes Brennan Yuri look as manly as he is, so I'm really happy about it. And I guess I don't have much to say about it. Like, now I can totally save a story that happened to me while I was filming this video, because at this point it happened. So I was just filming this video and two of my friends came over and they were like chilling with their computers, playing games while I was filming this video. And since it was very very hot day, we brought cold Rattler with zero alcohol because I don't drink alcohol at all. And they just brought it to me just to like, you know, have some kind of drink while I'm working. And I was drinking it and I'm like super clumsy and I managed to spill it all over my keyboard, my tablet, my computer and all that good stuff and I was like panicking and once I started like drying it and cleaning it up and I realized that my keyboard does not work and I did have to make this video until a certain day so I was like going crazy since my keyboard does not work I cannot make videos thanks god one of my friends had a spare keyboard and I was like so thankful because I wasn't sure when I will get to the city and actually be able to get a new keyboard so that was a pretty stressful day and I didn't make anything and it was like really sad because I had tight schedule when I do have to make certain styles so 
yeah, that's a pretty sad story. And I had a lot of difficulties while making this video, just like the internet connection gone, I don't know what happened, so... It feels like somebody just don't want me to make this video for some reason, so... Yeah. So, fast few words about the Flintstone style. So, this was one of the styles that are very, very awkward and very not good looking since, well, when you think about it, the Flintstones are like in Stone Age and Stone Age people didn't look good. At least for us, they wouldn't look good. So, Brandon Yuri automatically would look just too good to be like from Stone Age. So, I had to like make his face not so beautiful in order to fit into the style, you know, to make him a little more deformed. So that's my explanation why the style looks so epically cringy. So yeah, I find it like super funny for some reason. And next is the Simpson style, which is always fun to do. I think I just made a mistake that I made him a little too thin. I mean, his face could have been wider, but at that point I was just so tired, was just not in the mood of drawing it, so I think on this one I could have done a little better. But, well, I guess this is why we call it a challenge. Next is Total Drama, and this show I saw like a few episodes and I liked it, but like every other show I just stopped watching for some reason, and I'm still not sure why I do this. But yeah, this style was super fun to do, very simple, very easy, I did it very fast, even though this was my first time doing it. I just love the harsh, edgy lines and the fact that everything is made from shapes, and I think it turned out pretty nice. Also want to mention this big art problem that I have, since you probably noticed I do that already. Uh, I always sketch too big, like extremely too big. And, well, it's not a problem when you do digitally, because you sketch when you just select and make it smaller. But this problem is like super bad when it comes to traditional work. If you sketch too big, you know, you have no other way but to erase and start all over again. And this is like super bad when you are drawing at Art Academy like live portraits and you like have this expensive paper also limited time and you tend to mess up like this and this is my problem like number one when it comes to art and i'm still not sure what to do i try to sketch like small things i try to start like from silhouette like everyone suggests but it still doesn't work for me and i don't know why and i just really need to do something about it just wanted to mention this because if you have the same problem, don't worry, you're not the only one. I, I have it too. <laughs> Next style is Marvel style and I just love drawing in it. I just love that it is like sketchy, messy, but at the same time pretty realistic. So I just love the combination of it and I like the way this turned out and I really enjoyed doing this. Also, forgot to mention that, of course, guys, please do suggest other people, other celebrities that you want me to do next. Once again, the most popular one will win and I will make one more 20 art styles challenge. For the next two videos, I already have things planned, but after a month or so, I would make a new episode. So stay tuned and suggest new things. Also, don't forget to suggest styles. Next is panty and stocking and I had this style in my mind from the episode 1 from the day I made Melanie Martinez, but for some reason when the time comes to write down all the styles I'm doing, I always forgot this one and I'm finally doing it. And it's ironic that I'm making this for a male video, since Pandy and Stocking is pretty girly looking show and also it's pretty pervy, so... So making guy character like this is pretty cringy because I already imagine how he takes off his boxers and like it turns into some kind of gun. I don't know, I just was thinking about this throughout drawing this and it just made me cringe so damn much. And if you're under 18, please do not google this show because it's kinda pervy, you know? It's kinda made more for like adults. Next is Teen Titans Go Style and before you judge me, please hear me out. I did make the original style in my last two videos of 20 art styles challenge and this time I just really wanted to try out Teen Titans Go style and I know you guys prefer Teen Titans original style but 
I just really want to try this out. I was just in the mood of doing like some kind of more simple chibi looking character. So that is the reason why I chose Teen Titans Go this time. So please do not leave mean comments about Teen Titans Go because I watched few episodes and it wasn't even that bad. So I don't understand all the hate. I know that Teen Titans are like a lot better. But still, Teen Titans Go aren't that bad, so just don't judge me, please. Next is something super interesting, because I never heard of this show, and I got suggested this in the comments, and I'm not even sure how to pronounce it. I guess it's called Dog or something? I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. But I just googled this style, and it was like super awesome, I just wanted to do it immediately. And I was just thinking how it will turn out because it's so minimalistic, like super minimalistic. I think this one is the simplest style I ever done. And it turned out super funny and cute and I love it and I love the style. And I will for sure do it in the future, so stay tuned for that. So next two styles are Naruto and Dragon Ball. And for these two, I want to play a little game. So in order to unlock these styles, in order to see the finished work, you need to download the app and you will find it on my profile. I'm under the same name, Nero TM Art, there as well. So you will find not only these two pictures, but also all the pictures in very high quality. So I think it's a perfect place to actually post the finished work I'm doing because I just really love the quality and the way the pictures are showed there. So that's pretty damn exciting. Next is Gorilla's style and of course I didn't forget this one because a lot of you just love it. And I think Brandon Yuri really suits the style well and I really enjoyed doing this. And I really started to listen to their music these days, especially when I started like driving and making these videos. I don't know, everybody just comments how awesome they are and I just got a little bit addicted as well, so that's good news for you, for all of you who were disappointed that I don't really listen much to them. So yeah, gorillas rule, totally. Oh yeah, next video will probably be my one week sketchbook share, and video after that will finally be I Draw Your OC episode 2. I haven't done this like in a while, and I know a lot of you are waiting for it, so if there is still any of you who want to participate and maybe get picked in the next episode, you can still post pictures on your Instagram and hashtag NeroTMOC, since I haven't still picked the next OCs which I will be drawing, so you still have a chance, but I will start working on it soon, so don't be late. Okay, next style is fairy tale, and this episode just needs more anime to it because it lacks of it. And if you have on mind any anime shows that have like very unique style, please comment down below. I will totally pick it and use it in my next video because I really want to do some anime. I want to include more animes, so that would be totally awesome. And Fairy Tale is one more show I haven't seen. And the reason I haven't seen so many shows is because I don't really have much time to actually sit down and watch some anime or some good shows. I haven't seen many of the most famous TV shows ever, like Game of Thrones, for example, or The Walking Dead. I haven't seen those and I know I'm so lame, but I just don't have time. And once I will find some good amount of time, I will totally use it to watch those shows. So Fairy Tale is one of them and I really would like to see it one day. And it looks pretty interesting and I really enjoy doing the style, like all the anime styles out there. I just love drawing anime. And I have this video about stop drawing anime and manga and a lot of people don't get that video because the title says stop drawing anime and manga. And in the first few seconds I do make a joke about it and everybody just lost their minds and dislike the video and comment mean things and the thing is you have to watch more than 15 seconds of that video to understand what I'm talking about. So it's just a video that a lot of you didn't understand so I'm really sorry about that. But. I can't change the fact that you watch only 15 seconds of a video. And the final style is, of course, Samurai Jack, because it's like awesome style. I haven't done it in the last episode and I regret it because it's like style that I love drawing in. 
So I guess this is it guys for the third episode of 20 art style challenge and hope to see you all soon. Don't forget to suggest all the celebrities you want me to draw and also the styles and see you in my next video. Bye!